friends, I am back. <laughs> I feel like it's deja vu from my last video when I posted a few weeks ago, apologising for going missing for a while. Um, so I've been away in uh, Western Australia for a while. Um, I went over to visit some family of mine and generally just have a bit of downtime before starting my prep for the Arnold and the British finals. Um, and to be honest, I went over there with the intention of doing quite a lot of vlogging and showing you guys how I still managed to stay on track whilst away from your regular routine and how I fit at least a bit of training in along the way. Um, but to complete, be completely honest, I got over there and it was just such a different way of living and such a different lifestyle to what I have over here. The family that I was staying with, they don't have Wi-Fi, they don't really use their mobile phones um, and it was just all about going out and experiencing the local area and exploring as much as we could. So we didn't really stop all week and it was just the most welcome break from social media and to be honest taking a break from vlogging and you know we're all so guilty of just sitting and scrolling through Instagram or Facebook whenever we've got a spare minute and there was just none of that. I went on Facebook on the odd moment to message James and to message my mum and keep them updated with what I was doing. But other than that, I didn't really touch social media other than surprising my mum that I jumped out of a plane, but whatever, that's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, no excuses, and I'm not, I'm not sorry. Um, I've always said that I'm not gonna vlog just for the sake of vlogging. I'm not gonna vlog if I don't feel like it, because then it would just be awkward and insincere, and I hate when you see that online. Um, so yeah, just a bit of honesty for you, um, I had the most incredible time, I fell in love with that place um, and now I'm back, back to reality and Melbourne weather, it's freaking freezing, I didn't, me and James were saying earlier, we didn't sign up for this, what's going on, we're expecting sunshine, but of course it's our winter, so cool. Um, so, just a quick update. Today is day two of prep for the Arnold and <laughs> I find myself being like, I've been dieting for a day, like why am I not lean yet? What's going on? I'm hungry. Why am I not lean? <laughs> Ridiculous. But I feel so good for getting back to it and getting some proper structure back because last week I tried to make good choices while I was away. Um, but I still had the odd glass of wine and enjoyed meals with my family. I was quite lucky that they're really into eating well and they're big on their veg so it gave me a kick up the arse as well to eat a little bit more veg. Um, so it wasn't too much damage but it's time to start reining it in and get this prep on the road. Um, so speaking of, as I say today is day two. Um, this morning me and James trained shoulders and it was so good to get back into a decent gym and I've missed training at Doherty so much and to be back training with James and just be back with James is great. It was so much fun for us to train together. We work really hard. Um, so we're both absolutely dead after that session. But now he's gone to work and I'm going back to do a bit of cardio. Um, just to put it out straight, because I've said that I want to be honest with everyone all the way through prep. I want to be completely transparent. There's no secrets to this. There's no secrets to what we do. I want to lay it out. Um, so for this first week, um, cardio-wise, we've planned that I'm going to fit in an hour and a half of cardio over the week, however I see fit. Um, and the way I quite like to do this, because I know I've spoken about it on previous videos, um, is split it up into as short a burst as I can. So, on these three occasions, I'm going to be doing 10 minutes of hit, so 10 minutes of intervals, followed by 20 minutes of lift. So, three 30-minute periods. 
Um, and I'm going to be doing these three sessions on upper body days because after leg day, nah, not happening. Um, so yeah, cardio club is on. Cardio buddies out there, come on, where are you? I need someone to get me through this. But no, seriously, I've packed my book. <laughs> I've started reading Gone Girl. If you haven't seen the film, if you haven't read the book, ugh, it's incredible. Um, so Gone Girl is going to be my first book of this prep. See how many I can get through in 16 weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling refreshed and motivated. And I can't wait to share it all with you guys. So let's do this. Seeing the dark trainers. <laughs> So I wasn't joking about the weather, it is bloody miserable out here, but it is a good thing I've got my trainers to bright up the evening, and also, look at how cute these houses are. You just don't see houses like this in the UK, there's no, like, Bungalows are so rare in the UK, but out here, every house is a bungalow. Apart from us, we live in flats, but whatever. So, carrying on from what I was previously saying when I was having my coffee, um, I'm doing three lots of these 30 minute cardio sessions a week, and that is a little bit more than I'd like to be doing 16 weeks out in prep, but there is method in the madness. Um, we are going to Sydney in two weeks for James's birthday, so we've both agreed that we'd like to be a little bit ahead of schedule so that we can enjoy Sydney guilt-free, and I'm praying that we get a little bit of nice weather. We can maybe hit Bondi Beach, um, or hit any kind of beach in general would be amazing, um, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Sydney has taken a bashing recently with the weather. Um, but yes, I just wanted to make that clear because um, I know I've raved before about people doing crazy amounts of cardio too early on and the last thing we want to do is burn out. Um, so yeah, just to clarify, this isn't some crazy let's do hours of cardio really early on and become some kind of cardio bunny. Nah, -uh, not happening. This is just to help us along and allow us that balance that I'm always raving about. Um, of course, we want to be able to enjoy birthdays um, and travelling and getting out and about. So you can do that. There's just other sacrifices that you've got to make. And in this case, it's a little bit more cardio to allow that birthday cake. about it is in small manageable chunks and you have to have the mindset that it's not one down a hundred to go it's one step closer than you were yesterday else it can seem 
like a huge mountain to climb and it can seem unachievable. Um, so, like I said previously, I'm taking this in little chunks. First chunk is two, three weeks leading up to Sydney. Then from there, I'll set the next small goal because looking at it at like a 16 week slog seems like a lot. Four months is a third of a year. So, this is the way we roll. Um, feels good to be back and I'll see you in the next one.